All right, Jaguar schedule is officially out, so it's time for us to give our way too early schedule prediction. So we've got this whole nice, beautiful mon wall that Justin spent some time working on where we've all put our obviously wrong Jaguars <laughs> predictions on them. But we'll start on week one. So over here, uh, the Jaguars start with a, a win according to Justin, but me and Alessandra not as positive for the start there. Uh, so it's a little bit of a rough path because all of these first four mm -hmm. teams, playoff teams a year ago. So I got them going two and two. Justin's got them going two and two. Alessandro, on the other hand, you got them going one and three to start Man, no things faith. off. No faith. Get tough. Wow. Does it get tough? Man, all right. Get tough. All right. We, we all agree on week four. All got them taking an L there. Then week five, six, seven, eight, all three of us agree that it's going to be a four-game winning streak there, which is, is a good way to bounce back if, in the Alessandro's yep. case, they start one and three. Good Jaguars! <laughs> uh, so uh, we also agree come week nine, where it gets to all L's, and then week 10, all W's. Yep. All L's on week 11. There are, there are quite a few of these that are actually very similar now that I'm looking at. This is the first time we're seeing these, by the way. Uh, week 13, though, uh, we're a little divided there. Justin's yep. got an L. Alessandra and I both have W's. I've got a four-game wow. winning streak and a four-game losing streak. You know, Jacksonville always kind of does something you don't expect. Then they do something you do expect. So I'm expecting them to, to get that f winning streak there early on and then kind of like we saw last year, tumble towards the end. In Justin's case, that four-game winning streak comes at a or losing streak comes at a very bad time. Yes. Very bad time. Um, all right, so we get to week 14 with the Titans. Uh, Alessandro, you and Justin both have them taking L. I, I got the W. I'm the lone W in week 14. Yeah, is there a way at the Titans that week? And that's why I thought no way Calvin Ridley is going to lose to his former team. That's why I think they're going to lose. Also, what happened last time the Jaguars were in Tennessee? We were there. We got a first-hand look at it. It was horrible. Nightmare and it was scenario. cold, too. Yeah, big time. And, again, you get a chance to right the ship with the Titans. We all got them winning in Week 17 against the division rivals. Right. So, Justin, you and I have three-game winning streaks to yeah. wrap things up. Alessandra has them losing to the Raiders in Vegas oh. and then a two-game winning streak to wrap things up. So, that brings us to our totals, which are – Nicely put over here. I got 12 and 5. Justin and Alessandra both have 10 and 7. Somehow I ended up on the high side, and normally I'm the guy that's on which the low side. Which is shocking. Totally, which, yeah, which is yeah, a very tad surprising. bit shocking. Somehow 12 and 5 is the record that, that I'm rolling with. Jaguars won nine games each of the last seasons. Yep. Uh, so 12 or 10 would both be a sign of growth. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so no one should be mad at us because you know what? Even one more win would hopefully get you into hey one more win last year would have gotten you in the playoffs and, you know last year i think i picked 10 and 7 and i was off by a game um so going with that again this year a little bit different kind of setup and how this goes out tough schedule <laughs> early on yeah but i'm saying 10 and 7 i don't i'm not as ambitious as jamal going 12 and 5 but um Ten and seven, I'm happy with 10 and 7 after the schedule. I don't know how I feel about going 12 <laughs> and 5, and, and I did it. But I, I, I was just kind of going through it week by week, and somehow we ended up at 12 and 5. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, we will have plenty more Jaguars coverage. All you got to do is check out the News for Jags podcast. We actually have a, a longer episode going in depth about this schedule live right now over on newsforjags.com.